In this video, we're going to show you how to insert an anchor link or a jump link to a specific page. And this is going to allow you to send that user to a specific place within that same page, like a specific section or text. So let's get started. So how you'll do this is with an anchor tag. So inside your anchor tags, you're going to have your anchor text, which will be the clickable text. And you'll also include a target element, which in this case will be an ID that we set up. Let's first look at this blog post. Now we added this table of contents at the top of this post. So you're going to see that these are all links. And as an example, when you click on technical SEO, it brings a user down to this section. So let's go ahead and look at our blog post editor to see how we did this. Now to see the anchor tags and ID we have set up, we're going to go to our HTML view. Now if you're using Sitefinity like we are, you're going to find this at the top right corner of your editor. And once you click on this, it will show you the HTML view of your content. Now you can see our table of contents is in a list format. So the list tags are identified with the LI in brackets. Now inside of that, you're going to see our anchor tag. But first, let's go ahead and jump down to the section that we're jumping or linking to so we can show you where you need to add your ID. Now you're going to see the heading for technical SEO here, which is within our H2 tags. And then you can see we added an ID that is called technical SEO. Now you can make this whatever you want, but just make sure that it is unique and make sure that this ID matches what you have in your anchor tag. Now let's go back to our table of contents and you'll see we have our anchor tag. Now, instead of adding a link or a target URL like you would if you were sending the user to an external or internal link, you'll add a hashtag and then you'll insert the ID that you added below. And in our case, it was technical SEO. Now, once you added that, you can test it to see if it works and then go ahead and publish your page. But that should be all that you need to do. Now, if it isn't working and you followed all the steps above, then reach out to a developer. Now in this example, we use Sitefinity, but you should be able to do this in any content management system or website builder that allows you to view and edit the HTML. Now, if you have any questions, then reach out to our team. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified every time that we upload a new video.